right, I'm here with some, some brothers that newly graduated and have uh, officially registered members of the Nation of Islam, man. How has the Nation of Islam and the teachers of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad as taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan changed y'all lives? Think about more black people participating and coming out to save his day. It's up for everybody. All domination, all works of life. You know, we need to really unify in this time that we're here right now. Because we really don't know how long the minister has in our presence. So we need to really follow his instructions. And, and as blacks, we all struggle. So we need to find that universal common bond. And, and come together and brotherhood and sister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, what made y'all decide want to be registered members of the Nation of Islam? Unity. Like, when you come in the mobs, I ain't know what black love was. Like, you got black men coming, that you up. I love you, brother. I love you. I was like, man, hey, what's this? <laughs> but then I started, like, feeling the spirit, like, a real love, man. And I ain't had to watch my back. Brother standing behind me, I ain't no room. You know? It was just that love and, and the spirit, really. That I was hand picked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about you, brother? What made you decide to be a registered member of the Nation of Islam? Well, for me, I was blessed to be born in the Nation. And my perspective was, I procrastinated because I was in college, so I didn't do the formality of registration and processing. But what college, what college did for me was it allowed me to see the, like I said, I was, I grew up in a cocoon because I was born in a nation, so I wasn't aware of how lost our people actually were. I wasn't aware of the ignorance that was actually being flooded throughout the streets, the, the veil that was put on us to the point where we don't even realize we're trapped. So it's almost like, how can a man save himself when, he not, when he's not even aware that he's in a trap or he's in a war? So for me, it was, and as the, as the leader said, man, to, to have a certain knowledge and you withhold it to yourself and don't go out and say your people, man, that's almost a sin. Because you're literally watching your brother die when you know you got to...